in the future, when you're getting close to the last days, a time will come when people in the church will not put up with sound doctrine. In, in other words, they're not going to like hearing the Bible. Instead, he says, to suit their own desires, they will gather around themselves a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear and turn aside to miss. Now, what's interesting is that the Greek word there for itching is kinetho, which means to desire only that which is pleasant. And miss there in the Greek is muthos, which literally means stories made up. So, according to the Bible, how do you know you're living in the last days? Well, when you see in the church, the only thing you get from the pulpit, by and large, is pleasant things and a bunch of stories made up. Now, I just described for you about 90% of the American church. This is why many churches, pastors, Bible study leaders and teachers won't preach on prophecy. That's the irony. The irony is they're actually fulfilling prophecy in a bad way. Yet they don't know it because they refuse to study the very thing that warns them against it. And so my question is, though, as a shepherd myself, is how in the world can you be a faithful shepherd if you skip nearly one third of the Bible that deals directly or indirectly with Bible prophecy? Are you saying that it's not a blessing to the sheep when God says so blatantly to the contrary that it is? Are you smarter than him? Do you know more than God? Why would you, a shepherd who professes to love the sheep, want to keep the sheep from a blessing? Is that being a loving shepherd? Is that showing genuine concern for them? Besides, as a shepherd, we're supposed to teach the flock the whole counsel of God, not just some of it. And, and, and who makes you the arbitrator? And, and what gives you the right to decide which portions of the Bible are good versus bad for God's people when God says it's all good? It's all from Him, especially Bible prophecy. The facts are Bible prophecy is some of the best news we could ever hear as Christians, and it is the much needed antidote to deal with the perilous days we live in where evil abounds. The book of Revelation is not doom and gloom. Rather, it reminds me that I'm going to heaven, a, a place beyond my wildest dreams. I'm going to the millennium where my greatest adventure awaits. And best of all, I'm going to see my King Jesus face to face who loves me and who won for me an amazing life for all eternity. What a, what a blessing that news is. And it's all obtained when you read and hear and take to heart the prophetic events that are 100% accurately recorded for us only in the Bible. The more I study them, the more I, I'm reminded that Jesus Christ, uh, that in Him as a Christian, I'm a winner. I'm not a loser. I'm blessed beyond measure. What a future that is in store for me. It's awesome. In fact, nobody has a brighter, more secure future than God's people.